Hello, and welcome to part 13 of our Pokemon Hollow Woods Let's Play. Let's continue on. I'm glad I made it all the way up here. Lots of skiers get lost in the snow and have to be rescued. Hi there, I'm Megumi. I implemented the Oblar region's Pokemon storage system. I guess you could say I'm a bit of a computer whiz. Battling? Not so much. Oh, my Skitty. It seems so friendly towards you. I wonder. Skitty ran away a few days ago and just returned today. When it returned, it seemed contented as if it had made a lovely friend. Could that friend be you? Oh, you skated with Skitty. Skitty has always wanted to go skating, but I have always been too clumsy to skate alongside her. To think Skitty fulfilled her dream. It just fills me with joy. Please, take this. Oh, a silk scarf. Not bad. Skitty has always wanted to go skating. Okay. There is a mysterious force that makes the Frostwood Temple unusually cold. Burr. It's even colder than the town. Frosthaven City, a shelter in Oblar's bitter northern mountains. Denise's Diner, hot, fresh, and delicious. Denise's Diner is known for its food, but also for its battles. Look out. You may get more than just a meal if you sit down here. Welcome to Denise's Battle Diner, where the food is warm, the drinks are cold, and the battles are piping hot. Sigh. I'm the owner of this diner. Trainers have been coming here for years for food and battles, but lately, our sales are down. And it's all because of one thing. Our pie. What? To make my famous pie, I need some rare ingredients. With all the snowfall, it's been hard to get them from the Oblar Valley through Smuggler's Pass. So, do you think you can help me? Sure. Here's what I'm missing to bake up a delicious pie. Some sweet honey, a peppy balm, an EXP sugar, and a whipped dream. If you can help me, trader, well, my business will surely be booming. Okay. I know I, I should have three of those items. The one I'm not sure about is the Whipped Dream. I don't know if I have that. Pie Town. Snowy conditions have made it difficult for Denise to collect the ingredients for her diner's famous pie. Honey, peppy balm. Wait, it says rare candy, but she said EXP sugar. Either way, I think I have both. And Whipped Dream. Can you collect the four ingredients and bring her customers back? Uh, 
Okay, EXP Sugar, Honey, Peppy Balm. Do I have a Whipped Dream? I don't think I do. Yeah, that's the one item we're missing. We don't have a Whipped Dream. Hi there. Can I take your order? That was very powerful for not very effective. Okay. That was the wrong move. It still got the job done, but that was the wrong move. And now you've gone and cost me a gratuity. I'll take a large soup with the side of this trainer's tears. What? I can't believe you would say that. <laughs> oh my, you have a Milotic. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Onyx wants to learn Calm Mind. Hmm. I don't know if I want to learn Calm Mind, because I think I'd rather have Rock Polish. Later. I'd like to send something back. It can be hard to raise a Pokemon in such a cold environment. Starly and I need to huddle by the furnace after our daily walks. Baneri doesn't seem to like you very much. Well, why not? What did I do? Hi there. I am all about peace, love, and friendship. I can even sense love and friendship in Pokemon. Would you like to know how much your Pokemon like you? 
Yes. Which Pokemon do you want me to raid? Your Munchlax is quite friendly to you. You must be a kind person. Senator Aspen rarely gets involved in the fights between the major factions. Okay. I think Senator Aspen has been in charge here for about a uh, hundred years. Did you know they don't refrigerate the potions here? They just keep them outside in the snow. Why bother buying Pokeballs when you can buy candy at the Frost Haven candy shop? Oh, maybe at the uh, at the candy shop we can buy a whipped whipped uh, whipped dream. I came all the way from the Sinnoh region to try the candy shop's old gateau. It turns out, it's the same everywhere. I froze my pants off for nothing. Frost Haven Candy Shop, home of the famous Tasty Caramel. There's a lot of people in here. Hello. And welcome to the Frost Haven City Candy Shop, home of all that is tasty. I love sugar. I can tell. I brought my Swirlix to enjoy the tasty treats here. They have ice cream and candy and cotton candy and... Wait, cotton candy? <laughs> Isn't it fascinating how each region has their own special delicacy? And you can buy them all right here. Yum. Maybe I should have got my daughter a quiet mint. Oh, wait, do they sell mints here? That would be amazing. Wah. Mommy said she would buy me a candy, but I didn't like the mint she got me at all. I'm work I'm workshopping a new type of treat. Would you like to sample it? Sure. Oh, it's a whip dream. Just what we needed. I hope you enjoy. Thank you. We're here to get ice cream on our first date. He asked me out in our elementary school class. We're cute together like Volbeat and Illumis. Welcome in. I'm here to answer any questions that you might have. What is EXP Sugar? EXP Sugar is a special item unique to the Oblar region. You can find it all over, but you need to have sharp eyes like a Starly. It's usually hidden. Try checking rocks, fallen logs, and even trash cans for it. We hope you have a tasty visit. What are tasty caramels? At the candy shop, we melt EXP sugar into delicious rare candies and tasty caramels. Rare candies boost a Pokemon's level by one. Oh wait, tasty caramels can make certain species of Pokemon evolve. If these Pokemon don't eat tasty caramels, they usually only evolve by being traded. We hope you have a tasty visit. Oh wait, is that how I evolve my, uh, my Onyx then? Because usually Onyx evolves into Steelix when you trade it while it's holding a metal coat, right? 
so maybe we have to give it a tasty caramel to get it to evolve. Welcome! We were able to convert EXP sugar into tasty candies for Pokemon. Unfortunately, these candies are designed for powerful Pokemon. To show that you are equipped to handle them, oh, we require three scented badges. Please feel free to come back when you have when you have the required certification. Okay. All right. Welcome. How may I help you? Sweet Why is a sweetheart 3k? That's a lot of money for a sweetheart. Wow. Candy bar, lava cookie, old gateau, castelia cone. Oh, they do sell mints, and they're cheap. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Okay. All right. Let's go for adamant. I'm just going to buy a lot of them. It's about like 12. I'm looking for... Modest. Buy 12 of those. Timid, 12 of those. And Jolly, 12 of those. Perfect. I also think I'm just going to buy some lava cookies. And we can go ahead and sell all the, uh, the other items in our bag. So I can sell these antidotes. Sell the Awakenings. Sell the Ice Heals. Sell the Paralyzed Heals. And sell the Burns. Burn Heals. There we go. Okay, cool. Now. For these mints... We have, what, one, two, three, three special attackers and three physical attackers. Special, 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 physical, physical, physical. Yeah, okay. So three adamant and three modest. Perfect. And I bought um I'm going to I'm going to stick with Adamant and Modest, but I also bought Timid and Jolly just in case we're in a situation where we need our Pokémon to be faster. So that's why I bought those, but we're going to just probably probably just stick with Adamant and Modest. Oh wow. Yeah, Breloom's special attack goes up by a lot. Senator Aspen is a master of the powers of ice. He can even make it hail on the inside of his gym. Yeah, dude, this gym is going to be rough. This gym is going to be rough because, again, four of our Pokemon are weak to ice. And I don't think we have a berry that weakens super effective ice attacks. Water, grass, bug. Yeah, no, we don't. So that's a little unfortunate. Frosthaven Snow Patrol. Safety first. Hello? Welcome to the Ski Patrol headquarters. We keep people safe from weather-related accidents at the Frosthaven Temple, on Route NE5, and in the city. I was inside Frosthaven Temple once on a mission. The cold, it's like nothing else you've ever experienced. Our poor, poor Pokemon, our poor Sneasel. The Snow Patrol has trained Sneasel to help us with our search and rescue operations. 
But on Route Any 5, our Sneasel went missing. I fear it may have fallen into a crevice. But the blizzard makes it so hard to find. Do you think you could help us in our search? Isn't that your job, though, to help people that are, like, lost in the snow? I don't know. Oh, thank you. Please, if you find Sneasel on Route Any 5, bring it back to us. Lysel? Lysel is a part of the Snow Patrol, a tough group that risks everything to save lost travelers in Oblar's coldest regions. Sneasel, her partner Pokemon, got lost on a mission on Route Any 5. Can you help bring Sneasel home? Sure. Rescuing the Rescuers. We keep people out of the Frosthaven Temple on behalf of the Pokemon Senate. There were some incidents inside. Frosthaven Jim, Senator Aspen. Sometimes, technology can take a long time to catch up to tradition. We've only been able to boost a Pokemon's level with these machines for a few years. The candy shop has been able to power up Pokemon with tasty caramels for hundreds of years. I like that Senator Aspen isn't affiliated with the Crimson or Lavender factions. It means he can make his own decisions independently. I'm just going to check. Confusion. Ancient power, charge beam, metal sound, calm mind. It's so cold in Aspen's Senate office. I had to have my Darumaka use Sunny Day to warm it up. Oh, I don't think I have any... Do I have the TM for any weather moves? I don't think so. I have Hail, but that's not going to help. I don't. All I have is hail. It would have been very helpful if we had like sunny day, rain dance, or even sandstorm. Would have been helpful, but oh well. Never melt ice, okay. Like I think we're just, even though four of our Pokemon are weak to ice, I think we're still gonna just attempt this gym with this current team. Mostly because I don't really want to level up another Pokemon. Like, if we go to our PC and see what we have... Where is the Pokemon Center? It's down here. If we look at what we have in our PC right now... Larvitar, Azuril, Clefairy, Audino. We can actually bring along Voltorb. Voltorb is a fire type. And it'll probably evolve into Electrode. Since I think normally Voltorb evolves into Electrobe, Electrobe at level 30. I said Electrobe. Electrode. But I just don't feel like training up Voltorb from level 18 all the way up to level like 30 plus. I feel that that's just going to take a, too long. It's going to take too long. I don't, I don't feel like doing it. The only way I'll do that is if we lose to the gym leader and it's like impossible for us to beat him with our current team. If that's the case, then I'll take the time to train up the Voltorb. But for now, we're just going to give it our best shot. Oh yeah, we have a... Uh... 
Where was I going? Over here? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Those are all four ingredients for my delicious pie. May I have those tasty ingredients? Wonderful, I'll get to cooking. Everyone, pie coming right up. Oh wow, this place is packed. Oh, we get some leftovers, not bad. A shiny stone, okay. And that's it. As you can see, we've been swarmed with customers trying to get this delicious pie. It always puts a smile on my face to see trainers battling and eating at Denise's or at Denise's. Okay. Hey, there's no cutting in the pie line. One rarely finds truly good culinary service these days. I knew the Lopany was going to hit me with either a jump kick or a high jump kick. It would really be helpful if Munchlax evolved before the gym. Having Snorlax would be huge. One rarely finds such competent trainers either. Okay, Staravia's evolving. That's nice. We'll have Star Raptor. Is it gonna learn close combat? Because that'll also be helpful. Perfect. I love that Star Raptor is able to learn close combat. Dang it, dude. Like, do I not know? Like, usually Munchlax evolves into Snorlax through high friendship, right? I don't know if they've changed it. They might have, but I don't know. I've been on many dates, but this may be the worst. Wow. Wow. She doesn't seem at all interested in my rock collection. Thank goodness, a distraction from this date. Wow. Rose Raid, okay. It's a little scary. That was a powerful Giga Drain.
leaving so soon. Please take me with you. Wow. Okay. You can tell they're having a lot of fun here. Battle this. Train my Pokemon that. It should be illegal to challenge someone while they're enjoying food this good. Oh, so we're not going to battle. Okay. Oh, Mark. You surprised me. I was just psyching myself up. I mean, preparing myself to go inside. Isn't this town gorgeous? All this snow makes me feel like a frost lass. Well, I suppose it's no surprise that we're both here. We're here to meet and impress the famous Senator Aspen. How am I going to impress him, you ask? Well, let me show you. That was awesome. Mark, you're so strong. I mean, not that I expected anything less. You must have learned so much growing up with Senator Mara as your mom. You saw Senator Mara in Rathloon City. She, she refused to believe what you told her about the Oblar army's plans. But... That shady man we saw in the Great Forest. He said they were planning something catastrophic. And you met others on Sharptooth Island saying the same thing. The Senate couldn't possibly just not solve the problem. Oh, isn't it obvious? The Senate's plan is probably just a secret. They can't let such a good plan get out. That's the only explanation. I mean, they promised us 
they would stop the Oblar army. Well, I should go heal my Pokemon. Good luck in there, Mark. I'll catch up to you soon. Hey there, future Senator. Senator Aspen is a tough veteran, but you should be able to crack him. Controlling the weather and using fighting types will both be helpful. They don't call us ace trainers for nothing. Now I feel more like a spade. Boy, it's cold in here. Burr. You're on the path to greatness. You've... you've knocked me onto the wrong path.
Oh, what? There also appears to be a child's drawing of a strange looking creature on the shelf. Could it be a Pokemon? Interesting. I'm not sure if I want to start Onyx here. I'm going to start Star Raptor. When I first saw you on Sharp Tooth Island, I had a feeling. And now, you are finally here. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Senator Aspen. I am the longest serving senator and the only one affiliated with neither of our current factions. I have a reputation as a man frozen in time, stuck in the winter storms of the past. Ice can move slowly, it is true, but it can also preserve the greatest ideas and the worst nightmares of our shared past. We have much to discuss, young Mark, but first, Allow me to test your strength in battle. Oh boy, I am nervous. Okay. Starting off with the Vulpix. He had a Focus Sash and he has Blizzard. Why does Vulpix have Focus Sash? Who okayed this? Who said that was a good who said that was good? We all full restore? Okay, well. Okay, do I risk another rock polish? I wasn't risking it. You're faster than me. No. I should have risked another rock polish. I should have risked it. I should have. I really should have. Okay, this is ice ground. I really should have risked it. I don't want to lose Ninetales. I'm going to let Shelgon go down. We'll let Shelgon go down. He'll take a hit for the team. So wait, is this just infinite hail? I feel like this is just infinite hail. Three down. Was Frostlass his ace? Or does he have something stronger than Frostlass? Okay, that was not his ace. He has a Celio. Okay. Substitute. We'll go ahead and break that. He's just going to spam Substitute. I 
I survived on one HP. That's huge. I was hoping we'd knock him out there, but oh well. We were able to get that hidden, though, thanks to surviving on one HP. Okay. I don't think Celio's that fast of a Pokemon. Who's faster between Breloom and Ninetales? I would guess Ninetales. 65, 80. Okay. Let's hope Ninetales is fast enough to outspeed Celio here. Okay, good. Okay, one left. He has one Mon left. But the problem is, both of our Pokemon are grass type, so they're weak to ice. That's the problem. It's gonna, I feel like it's going to come down to if our Pokemon is faster. Darmanitan. What? Wait, what typing is this? What typing is this Darmanitan? Hold on. It's not pure ice, right? Is it ice fire? Or is that like the Zen form? I think that might be the Zen form. Hold on, I need to look this up real quick. Okay, Darmanitan. Okay, the standard form is pure ice. The Zen form is ice fire. Icicle Crash. I think I just lose, because this Darmanitan is very strong. I think I just lose here. I think we just lose. Yeah, we just lose. Okay, I, th I think Onyx might be strong enough to take down the Darmanitan. I think. I think it might be. Okay. Well, for now... Since this video is getting a little long, we're going to go ahead and end this episode here. And the rematch will be at the beginning of the next part. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time with some more Pokemon Hollow Woods. Peace out.